podcast where today we're going to be watching The Victims of Not War. And this is by Busted. The original video will be in the description box below. Please comment what you want to react to next. And let's get into this video. From getting yelled at by rock stars in the 90s to surprising rappers with information about themselves, Nardwar has built up an impressive reputation in the music world. However, for every good interview he has, there's also plenty of bad ones. These are some of the best and worst Nardwar interviews, starting with one of the absolute worst, which was when he first interviewed the band Blur in 2003. Oh, uh, would it be okay to stand over there? The interview is incredibly Ugh. tense, even from the beginning. With Dave Roundtree, the band's drummer, immediately snatching Nardwar's interview questions from his hand and throwing it, before starting to push him around and intimidate him while the other band members encourage his behavior. Dave then takes Nardwar's hat and throws- I think he was mad because his hair is falling out and he having a very bad receding hairline and Nardwar has a full head of hair. Was it on the ground? Ah, uh, uh, okay. Which was incredibly disrespectful considering it was a gift from his mother who had passed away. Although the interview somehow continued to get progressively worse with the band members ignoring all of the questions. Who else do you have in the group with you right here? Who is the gentleman that just took my hat? Damon, who's to your right? <laughs> You're happy? No, I'm not. You don't look happy. I am not. I want my hat back, please. <laughs> as Dave throws Nardwar's glasses and continues to push him around. <laughs> okay, there we go. As Nardwar tries to keep the interview going and attempts to win over Dave by showing him his t-shirt so their old pretty. college, Dave grabs him and twists his arm before walking out of the room and leaving the interview altogether. Dave, a blur. Ow, oh, 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 oh. Almost immediately after, the rest of the band begins to cooperate, although still not in the friendliest tone. What is the traits of Dave that makes him got that fire in his belly? <laughs> well, you know, he's not always like that. He's obviously... Uh, no, he always like that. You don't have to Which I have to say, I find uh, rather attractive. One comment pointed this out, saying, This is telling. As soon as Dave leaves the room, the other guys start cooperating. Dave is a bully, and the others probably don't agree with how he treats others, but they're too afraid to stand up to him. When the interview first took place, it seemed like no one cared if some journalist got bullied by a rock band. But as time went on, their actions wouldn't go unpunished. These guys are really brave, picking on the friendliest and least intimidating person on the entire planet. After the video was released, more and more people saw the that interview, was real and mad both the band work. and Dave Roundtree specifically got a lot of backlash for their behavior. As they should. Although Dave has since gone on to apologize, saying, you, This is definitely home. one of the things I'm ashamed of. There's no excuse for my bullying. Whatever. And the reason I whatever. did it is perhaps nearly as sordid. To be clear, Nardwar didn't do anything to provoke me. I sent an apology to him the next day, but I didn't hear anything back from him, so I assume he didn't accept it. Nardwar seemed to be forgiving of him, saying, Thanks to Dave Abler for this apology. I do appreciate it. But while this interview definitely went poorly, there are still plenty of good ones, with some of Lil Uzi Vert's being among the best having produced yeah. some of the funniest reactions of Nardwar's career. Have you ever like Gigi Allen got naked performing? When I perform for my lady. Babu. <laughs> what? <laughs> A Rob Zombie post. Do do At certain times, Nardwar's information has been so mind-blowing that he calls Uzi to completely run away from the interview. Guns yeah. Garcia. Yo, he know too much. I can't do this. Wait, hold on. Let me see something. I don't know if I'm centered. Okay, I'm good. What can you do? This has since become a tradition with their interviews, yeah, with Uzi going on to make too. the same exit several times. However, not only is Nardwar able to shock Uzi with the information he digs up, but he's also presented him with several thoughtful gifts over the years, and the two seem to have built up a genuine friendship. There was even one instance when Lil Uzi was leaving a show and Nardwar walked up to his car asking for an interview, and Uzi can be heard saying, I always have time for you, before getting out of his car to talk to him, demonstrating the deep respect he has for Nardwar before sharing a really wholesome moment with him in front of everyone. Where have 
have you been? In fact, you have been to Canada. I haven't saw you in a long time. Oh, it's great to see you again. It's great to see you. Thank you, Christ. It's been a long time coming, my friend. Well, hopefully it won't be so long. You'll come up with my tour bridge in Canada. We'll see you again. Or you can just come to my house and have dinner. Oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Uh, how do I get in touch? I'll give you my number. You know, then I can teach you how to play Call of Duty. Ba-boom. That'd be amazing. <laughs> This is something fans have picked up on, saying Lil Uzi inviting him to dinner was so genuine and heartfelt, you can tell he values the people around him. With another comment echoing this, reading, I love how the hip-hop community treats Nardwar like royalty, a legend of the game. Sadly, the respect Nardwar currently gets wasn't always so common, as we can clearly see with his old interview of Lydia Lunch, who couldn't be more annoyed by his interviewing style. You're right now you're very hungry, right? No, that doesn't matter. This is the I'm hungry for an intelligent conversation, which I've yet to find. Oh. Within just one or two questions, she was already irritated with him, and her attitude only got worse as the video carried on. And I'm Child, trying to give you a chance all, to get back at those homeboys. What is going? First of all, you need a brush. And second, you need to calm down because Narwar, I'm pretty sure you didn't even say nothing mad mean to you, and he, Narwar is not dumb, so don't you the dumb with hope. You don't are. There's no reason to get back to him at 17. Years ago, oh. and it doesn't mean diddly sh to me, friend. So you have no recollection of it, or know you're interested, and you never ever want to be brought up again. Oh, I don't give a. Sh it's your fetish, not mine. Okay, I will adhere to your rules. When he tried to connect with her on some of the promotional posters he did, I do like that record you have where it says "I did lunch." Uh, you need to read up again. It's Lydia lunch. No, but the way you read it, you know, you, the way the poster said it was like, I did lunch, you know that poster I'm talking about? Yeah, well, don't I, do. I, I do, you're incorrect though, you, you need to go back to uh, Hieroglyphics 101. She only seemed more annoyed, claiming his information was inaccurate, despite copies of the poster still being sold today. This attitude continued throughout with every question that he asked. Why did you guys want Courtney Love's recipe for Prozac brownies? <laughs> Huh? I'm sorry. Do you want me to we kill him now or later? No, we don't, we don't. We were just we were just making a joke. Before she eventually got up and walked away as Nardwar followed, trying to finish out the interview. Oh, I know why she's mad now. She didn't have her cocaine yet. So she's trying to go to a dealer and Nardwar is trying to have a conversation with her and she is late to go get her drugs. The comments weren't very forgiving of this. She was 37 at the time of this interview. You'd never be able to tell from the way she acted. Exactly. It's so embarrassing to see two full grown women posturing like a pair of outcast teens going through a serious rebellion phase. Bruh, I cannot believe someone told Nardwar of all people to do his homework. Right, Ironically, right, right. Nardwar doing his homework is exactly what caused Denzel Curry to walk away from his interview as well, but for an entirely different reason. The interview starts out like many others where Nardwar surprises Denzel with the information he's dug up. This includes where he went to daycare as a kid. A pink and blue daycare? <laughs> I don't he know all this. This is crazy, yo. Yeah, that's my daycare, man. And the fact that his aunt <laughs> once worked security at one of his early shows. Your aunt Betty did security? What the God damn! He looked like a spider. But as the video progresses, the things Nardwar mentions only continues to surprise him more and more before causing him to leave the room in shock. Chauncey. Don't you even know niggas from my block? Whoa! Oh, I'm done. <laughs> Yo! Denzel Curry. Yo! Yo! Damn, no! Oh! He does eventually come back and finishes the interview, even having some fun moments with Nardwar, but it's since gone down as one of the most iconic reactions with a top comment reading, half of this video is just Denzel being surprised. However, Denzel Curry isn't the only one with these reactions. In fact, Kendrick Lamar had a somewhat similar experience during his first interview as well. Now that might make you kind of hungry. What about Louisiana chicken? <laughs> That's the, yeah, Louisiana chicken. That's the neighborhood, yeah. And Kendrick Lamar is also Tams and Rite Aid, too. The Rite Aid. Definitely grew up in Tams and Rite Aid. This dude right here is really doing his research, though. This is, this is crazy. Do you know a guy called Canon? Day. You heard that? Oh, shit. Please explain. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. This dude said Canon. Wow. That's crazy. 
Wow, that's eight grade. This prompted a great response from fans. I don't know with people how saying, he can looks do like this. he's constantly trying to figure out Nardwar and just can't. If you ever apply for a job, you better pray Nardwar isn't the one doing exactly the background so. check. The way this guy can turn rappers into little kids is crazy. He brings out a side of artists nobody can. Instead of getting annoyed like many other artists, Kendrick actually found it amusing. This ain't no and Google tried to get search. Nardwar you have to, to give be... him some of the items he brought as a gift. This is can I have this? Hi up there on some of them possibly. <laughs> <laughs> With Nardwar being known for having an extensive music history collection himself, he was reluctant to give them away, although he often does give artists thoughtful gifts and surprises. Sadly, the band Sonic Youth had a very different reaction Why these white people don't like with Nardwar, which is easily one of his worst interviews of all time. The video begins with a lot of dry and sarcastic answers from the band, with the members being generally uncooperative. Why did you start a band in 19? When did you start the band? I didn't start the band. Oh, I'm sorry. The band started me. Who named the band, first off? Jesus? In true Nardwar fashion, he tries to continue, but things only get worse when they steal his questions and begin mocking him. <laughs> oh no, hey, we're not, we're not finished here. We're we're damn well no, finished. Don't take the card! Don't take the card! No, you can't take the card! Don't I mean, take the card! You, 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 Nardwar needs some security. But these are like over the years. They probably didn't know him. Nardwar then offers them a vinyl still, that commemorates their work as a gift. And this is when the interview really starts to go bad. I have something to show you. No, I want to show him. I want to show him. I want to show him. No. Oh my god. You idiot. You fucking piece of shit. You broke it. I was a present for you. Oh my god, what did you bring? Instead of accepting the present, the group members begin to bully Nardwar and decide to break it, all while making fun of him, which didn't sit well with a lot of fans. The members of Sonic Youth seem like the type of people who just sit there and say nothing when they hang out, but get angry when anyone calls them boring. Imagine bringing someone a present, then them being so self-absorbed that they don't only destroy it, but they bully you like children. Thanks Sonic Youth for constantly making me question the musicians I respect the most. A decade know, later, Nardwar actually interviewed them again, but shockingly, it didn't go much better, largely because they weren't exactly remorseful and mostly shifted the blame, leading fans uh? to be even more upset, especially considering what happened the first time. Why did you break Why you this record right here? First of all, let's get this straight. I am the one member of Sonic Youth who recognized the genius of Nardwar, but the genius of this particular record. Shut the hell up. The young men. I believe that I showed complete respect for this, but then there was another member of the band. Lee! Yeah, Mr. Lee Ronaldo. And he was the guy that molested me, wasn't he? I brought this record as a gift for you by a young man, and you broke it. Don't say you. Because what you're sort of saying is... You ganged up with him. No, 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 no. All I did was I circle danced around you while you were being viciously stomped. While they were more cooperative during the second interview, they also still seemed to have a mean-spirited attitude, even pretending to break the vinyl for a second time. No, 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 we're not... Oh, no, no, we're not... Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, wow! This certainly didn't help their image, with people saying, if you think you're too good or too cool for Nardwar, it's always in fact the opposite. No matter how much I would love the band slash artist prior to the Nard interview, if they disrespect the Nard, it automatically leaves me hating the artist for it. Nothing he does deserves that kind of reaction, period. He's a very genuine and sweet guy. Something very important about Nardwar that certain artists fail to realize can be summed up in a single comment. How you treat Nardwar determines how I look at you as a person. And most music fans agree with this. Why people always be trying to, like, be mean to Nardwar? I know these are like old videos because the quality is horrid. And I don't even know these people. They could be like in another country or something because I don't know these bands at all. But why were they being mean to Nardwar? Like, you wouldn't be mean to... Oprah, you wouldn't be mean to Ellen, but you being mean to this random person. Nardwar, that's doing nothing but doing his research. You told him to do his homework. They are so, so, so rude. But honestly, all I feel like at that time, they was all on cocaine. But anyway, that was the, the victims of Nardwar. And this is by... 
But the, the rest of the video will be in the description box below. Please comment what you want me to react to next. And I'll see y'all later. Bye. Mm -hmm.